Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at a C-sharp app that does conversions of temperatures. So you can see that here I have 32 degrees, and now I have calculated the Celsius and Kelvin in different formulas. So in this video I'm going to show you several things. First of all, we're going to obviously do some math calculations, and we're going to look at data types such as integers and floats. We're also going to learn how to use these controls so we can put labels and text entry boxes and button clicks. So those are all things that are going to be seen in this project. So let's get started. I have Visual Studio 2019 installed on my computer, and so we're going to build a Windows Forms app. So let's choose New Project here. So you can see that when I start my project, I have a bunch of recent types of projects that I've made and a whole bunch over here to choose from. There are a lot to pick from. So you can sort through these. I'm going to start with platforms and choose just Windows. So let's try desktop. And you can see that the uh, various types are here. The one we're looking for is called a Windows Forms app. So Windows Forms is the uh, probably the simplest that you can choose from here for creating a graphical program. Now let's give it a name here. So I'm going to call this Temp uh, Conversion. And let's see, I'm going to make sure that all the rest of this is checked here and choose the Create button. Now I'm going to assume that you're fairly new to this, so I'm going to go through this uh, pretty slowly and explain everything. So first of all, on the uh, screen here, you can see the first thing is a form, a blank form that we're going to put our controls on. We also have on the left side the toolbox, which you should be able to see if you go to the View menu and choose Toolbox that will either show it or you can close it and show it again. So the toolbox contains all of the things that we're going to put on our controls. So let's go to the common controls and you can see that we have buttons and labels and things like that. Over on the right side we have properties. So these are the different properties of every button that we'll put on here. And then inside of the Solution Explorer, we're not going to have to worry about that, but that shows all the parts to our program and uh, we'll get into that maybe in more advanced programs. So let's start with our Windows form. Now if I just push the start button I should see an application launch and I should be able to move around the form. So here it is, it's called Form 1. Not very interesting, there are no controls on it, but it is a real program. And you can see down on the taskbar that uh, Form 1 is a new program. So it's working. Now let's put some things on it. So I want to start by putting on a label here. So I'm just going to drag the word label from the left side. And I'm going to have three different temperatures. So let's uh, put in three labels. And let's give them some text. So let's choose label one. And now go over to the properties area and you will find a section called text. So let's put for our first label the word Fahrenheit. Then the second item we'll put in Celsius for the second label. And for the third label we will put the word Kelvin. So I'm going to go around and look at different options here so I can see that the font can be changed. So maybe size 14 is a good number for the font size. And then for the four color, I'm going to change it to something else. So make it something that you like. And then when you're done, we'll have uh, different uh, fonts for our labels. Now another nice thing about uh, Visual Studio is that there are some auto alignments. So if I want to make these all align, I can select them all with a single click and drag, and you can see that they all have a selection item on it. Now across the top here, I have different options for aligning. So let's say I want to align them all to the left. And so now their left margins are all the same. This might work here for the align rights. And then I'm just going to drag one of them over. So now we've got three that are in a row. Now they need, they need to be spaced evenly as well, so I'm going to reselect them all. And this time I'm going to choose, uh, what's the next one here? It's over here called uh, Make Their Vertical Spacing Equal. There, so now they're equally separated by the same distance. All right, so those are three labels. Now we're going to have some text entry, so let's go to the item called Text, Text Box. So I'm just going to drag a text box up to here. And... Uh, Let's do the same thing three times. Now you might want to change the size of the font and everything on the text box. 
So I want to make my text box all about size font 14. And uh, I'm going to change their width so that there's more space in there. And then I'm going to align them so that they match the labels. And so now I've got three different text boxes. Now, it's important that items that are referenced in your program have a special name. So if you look at uh, the uh, properties here for this first text box, let's come down to the part where we find the word name. So if we scroll down, you can find the design name. So right now, this thing is called text box one. I'm going to use a naming convention like this, txt underscore. So that means that I'm dealing with a text box it's going to say that this is the Fahrenheit. Okay, so Fahrenheit's kind of a tricky one, so I better make sure I got this spelled right. So let's see, what was that supposed to be? F-A-H-R-N, height. Okay, so strange name. So at least you're going to learn how to spell Fahrenheit in this application. Okay, so I got the first uh, name done as text Fahrenheit. Let's go to Celsius and do the same thing. So let's do txt underscore Celsius. And then finally, Kelvin is going to need a name. Let's go txt underscore Kelvin. Okay, so it's important that these are named with a prefix because it'll just make the uh, programming much more simple and sensical later. All right, let's go and add some buttons now. So let's go to the button control and I'm going to put three buttons in, one for each line. And then we're going to do all the programming inside the buttons. So let's see, the buttons need to be a little bit bigger and let's change all of their fonts and their sizes. All right, so now I've got three buttons, button one, two, and three. Let's change their names and their text. So I'm gonna select button number one and I'm going to come down to where it says name here. So the name, instead of button one, I'm going to call it BTN and then the word far and height. Now I'm using btn underscore as my prefix. That is not something that is actually required, but it's a very common uh, strategy, so that way we know that buttons have the same prefix, texts have the same prefix, we could put prefix on our labels too. But for buttons and text, that's all we're gonna need for this one. Now the name, button one, doesn't look so good, so let's go scroll up, and you'll find a property called text. Now I'm just gonna put in the word go, or you could put in the word convert something that tells the action that's going to happen. So convert looks like a good name. So button two and button three need to be done the same way. So for button two, I'm going to change his uh, text to convert, and I'm gonna change the button name to BTN Celsius. And then for the third guy, we're gonna do the same uh, strategy. We're gonna change his button name to BTN Kelvin, and then change the text to convert. So now I have three buttons, and I have three different uh, text items. Let's see what our program looks like. So I'm gonna run the program, and you're gonna see now that I have uh, three different things where I can actually input text, and then I can click these buttons. Nothing happens yet, so now we have to go and program the buttons so they'll have some code in there that will actually do the math. So I'm gonna close my app and start some programming. Now to create an event, I'm going to double click on button one. And you can see that I have a new function here. So I'm now into a program called form1.cs. I still have the design behind here, but now this file is all about the programming. So I can go in here and make some changes. So if I wanted to make a uh, sense of this, I look at the name of the function here, or this method it's called. So btn underscore Fahrenheit underscore click. So that is the method that will be called when the button is clicked. Let's just test this out. So I'm gonna put in the word message box. This is a nice way to just test something. And then you can say the word show, and inside you can put in a string. So in quotations, I'm gonna put the word high. Let's just see what that does. All right, so now I've got the program running. If I choose the first guy, I get a message box that says hi. That's all it does, it just says hi. Now the other two guys don't have a button click event, so they don't do anything yet. But now we know what to do to create an event. So uh, we're gonna stop here, but the next video we're going to create some math formulas that we'll be able to convert from one temperature type to another. So stick around and I'll show you how to do the math.